In this video, we'll look at whether KBr, that's potassium bromide, is an ionic or covalent compound. There's two ways we can do that. First, we could look on the periodic table and figure out whether potassium and bromine were metals or nonmetals. Potassium, right here, this is a metal, purple or metals. So we have a metal, and then bromine right here in the green, that's a nonmetal. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound. So according to the periodic table, potassium bromide, that's an ionic compound. The other way we can do this is look at the difference between electronegativity between the potassium and the bromine. So when we talk about ionic compounds and covalent compounds, if we have a difference in electronegativity between the potassium and the bromine that is greater than two, that means it's an ionic compound. So here's an abbreviated periodic table. We don't have the transition metals. We find potassium again here in group one. That's 0 0.82. That's its electronegativity value. Bromine, 2.96. So since the difference between these numbers is greater than two, if you subtracted 0.82 from 2.96, that's greater than two. That means that KBr, potassium bromide, will be an ionic compound. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.